Oh my god. What? A cliffhanger. Tarzan was originally published in a magazine and kind of written serially, and it reads like that of the time. This weird combination of like, simple, yet eloquent. You know, lots of classics have this almost Baroque sentence structure where it seems to go on and on and on without a period in sight, but it seems like Burroughs adopted a more modern structure and it makes for an easier, way more fun read. It's quite the traditional love story, you know, a hero, a heroine, but I'm not gonna post any spoilers for you here. The charm of Tarzan seems to lie in this juxtaposition of his like almost barbaric simplicity against his more human intelligence. It's really sort of an interesting glimpse into the thoughts of the time. I mean, in 1912, we were all about the supremacy of the human race over the animal kingdom. I mean, all about it. There was also this, like, really strange obsession with, like, any story that came out of the heart of Africa. Like, the West was, like, so obsessed, they couldn't get enough. But I think, above all, it's really about what separates man from beast. What always surprises me most in classic novels is the women. Like, I love them. And I love it when there's, like, a little bit of female snass, like, circa 1912, that would have shocked people of the time. Like, Jane is such a badass, and I can't wait to see more of her in book two. So I've got to read that right away. I think I'm going to make, like, quick reviews, part of a series here on YouTube. So if you liked this video, you're going to like the rest of them. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this. And hey, let me know what you're reading in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys later.